So the next thing we want to do is uh, we're wanting to get this up onto a virtual machine. And uh, you know, you can look at quick starts. We'll just bang around for a minute and how-to guides and tutorials. So let's see what they've got. So quick starts, quick starts using a Linux VM, using a Windows VM. So we could just take a look at that and get a little bit of feel for cloud. Go to manage resources, create a Google Cloud project. Make sure that billing is enabled for your project. Create a virtual machine instance, right? And uh, and then connect to your instance. And so that looks pretty good. I'm, I'm liking that quite a bit. Let's just look at these how-to guides. Creating and starting a VM instance. Um, and then a whole bunch of other stuff. We'll look at that one. And I won't be surprised if it takes us to the same thing. Is that the same thing? It's different. Creating SQL Server, Windows, Instance, and Sole Tenants, a VM Instant with a custom host name. Before you begin, uh, install or update the latest version of Google Cloud command line tool. Set a default region and zone. Um, so that looks like important stuff. And I know a little bit about this, so we might just come back and do that first. And then running a basic Apache web server, we could just kind of look at that, see what that kind of points us towards. So install, test your server, um, follow quick start instructions, to create a new Linux instance and connect to it. And, uh, and then you do stuff. So we're going to get rid of that. So really we got to kind of create a new instance. And to, the first thing we're going to do is Google Cloud command line tool and set default region and zone. And as I'm recording these videos, I might get to a point where I don't know if I'm going to show something which uh, would compromise my security. So uh, if, I, if we get to that point, I'll just stop the video and then restart it. All right, so the first thing, Google command line tool. Uh, G Cloud Compute, install or update G Cloud Compute. G Cloud Compute command line tool enables you to easily manage Google Compute Engine. Um, in a friendlier format using Compute Engine API. G Cloud Tool is part of Cloud SDK. So you might go to Cloud SDK and just install the entire Cloud SDK. And then you follow this stuff. So install for Mac OS. And before you begin, make sure you have Python 2.7. So Python dash capital V. And I've got 2.7. And then download your package. So I guess, I guess I'll just go through the whole thing and extract it. So there it is, and uh, and that's in my downloads. And maybe I'll move that to like my documents. And so to move it to my documents, I could CD downloads, and then in there move. Google Cloud SDK to my root folder. I already have it there, so I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to just remove those because I just did this right before class. I didn't get all the way to success, by the way, but I made some good headway, so we'll see. So that's uh, it's downloaded. And then once it's downloaded, I'm going to go to that location wherever it is. And at that location, documents, put it here. <clears throat> no, don't move. Yeah, there's that install sh. And so you just run that, and it's on a Mac, dot, forward slash, and then install sh, right? So if I'm in this folder already, I wouldn't include that again. And then it's going to run through it, and then you're going to do a gcloud init, and, uh, and it'll initialize it. So I'm going to do the gcloud init right now, and just see what happens. And if I get to a secure area, well, I'm actually going to turn the video off, and that, and then, then you could do it yourself, and then... 
I'll turn the video back on and talk about anything that I think you need to know about in the next video.